Good evening, everyone, and welcome to SNJ Today News. I'm Michelle Dawn Mooney. While the start of fall might be right around the corner, it still feels like the dog days of summer right now with the return of some pretty intense heat and humidity. The Atlantic City Fire Department had to battle the temperatures outside as well as the flames at a three story building that caught fire earlier today. Our Nina Barati was at the scene with the fire chief to see how they worked as a team to fight against both the fire and the heat. Earlier this morning, a three alarm fire started on the second floor of a three story building in the Chelsea neighborhood of Atlantic City. The first floor houses a grocery store with several bedrooms upstairs. On arrival, firefighters had heavy smoke and fire showing uh, coming out of the second floor window on the Bartram Avenue side. On top of the flames working through a wood frame building, the firefighters were dealing with another dangerous issue, which they say was part of the reason it took almost two and a half hours to get the fire under control. This fire uh, was a pretty serious fire, pretty dangerous fire, and for the firefighters, the, uh, the heat was a, a huge impact on their ability to uh, quickly get it under control. Several firefighters were sent to the hospital, most of them because of heat exhaustion. What they were doing today was rotating their crews in and out of the fire because of the hot temperatures. They would start right up there in the fire, do what they could, then they'd come back outside, sit over here, hydrate, rest, and wait until it was their turn to go inside once again. A fire today with this uh, 90, 95 degree uh, heat index with the humidity, it's extremely taxing on the firefighters in their full protective gear and their air mask and their work. And the fire chief says there were about 60 firefighters that came to the scene. Out of those men, four were sent to the hospital because of the heat and one for a cut that needed stitches. Thanks to the firefighters that were both on and off duty, they were able to work as a team to give each other the chance to cool down. You know, it's very limited the amount of time that they can actually spend in the fire. Um, so we really have to keep crews in there for a short period of time. A family member of one of the residents told me off camera that they are thankful nobody was hurt. I'm Nina Barati for SNJ Today.